Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. Today is, I don't know if it's day or not, but we're gonna talk about silver. Silver, we've seen two days of over, what, high two, well, 2% 2 rises. Two days of pretty good gains in silver. Now, a lot of people are asking why, okay? I wanna bring up the Bank of America short position. A lot of people have been talking about it. Uh, and you know what, do me a favor, hashtag BOFA in this video if you believe that Bank of America's short position is not gonna turn out very good for them. That's hashtag BOFA. Now, what's really interesting about this is that there's always been those theories, right? Uh, a lot of people would call them conspiracy theories, that there is a not enough silver in the market and that there's gonna be a day where there's an epic short squeeze and the banks are gonna be the ones left holding the bag. Uh, they're gonna be forced to buy back the metal because they put these huge short squeezes on. There's theories in the past that uh, Lehman Brothers and Bear Stearns was a part of this as well. And then that short position has just migrated from bank to bank. Now, this is the one thing I can tell you for sure. Don't take this as trading advice. I'm just a dude with a bro hawk and a dream. But the facts are, when silver starts to make a move, inventory dries up literally almost overnight. It is absolutely so much fun to watch. Now, I have been an investor in the precious metals markets since 2009, and I can tell you this for sure. I can tell you absolutely, and this is what blows my mind. When silver tanks, people don't buy as much. When silver rises, people dive in. It's because of FOMO. It's an emotional purchase, right? And I think it absolutely speaks to the fact that there will be some day where when silver makes a good run, it will almost be like you cannot obtain it. That unobtainium that you hear uh, Mike Maloney speak about will be true. And I've seen it before where we've went through times of absolute zero inventory and the, the VIG or the, the premium just shoots skyrockets higher. You know, sometimes as much as 10, 12, I've even seen $15 over spot just to get your hands on one coin. Now on the flip side of that, this is another thing that blows me away. Because I've talked about this before, when the stock market crashes, paper price, the spot price of gold and silver goes down also. People don't understand this. First off, I want you to understand that big institutions, hedge funds, banks, they liquidate their positions a lot of times because they have to become solvent and liquid to take care of what else is going wrong with their portfolio, right? So that's the low hanging fruit. They might have a position in silver and gold, paper contracts, they liquidate that. So you have more sellers than buyers and the paper price gets smashed down. But every time that's happened, within literally 24 hours, the premiums shoot up so much that the holder of physical metal, hold of physical gold and silver, it's almost like they didn't lose anything. Because if they were to go and look to try and buy some, it has retained its dollar value because the inventory is just not there. Every single time, it's like, wait a minute, is it true? Is there not that much silver in the world? Do me a favor, if you don't believe that there's a lot of silver in the world and you've been investing in this, share this video because I think it's very important because I believe that. The other thing is, is and it's like anything else in life. It's until the public wakes up when the truth comes out, right? The facts are there's only so much Bitcoin out there, right? But the, the price didn't move for a very long time. Why? Because people didn't figure it out until a certain time. Then it starts to roar up. That's the same with any commodity on earth any asset on earth. It can lay dormant forever and only few people are visionaries and see its true potential and value. Like with silver, it has more patents tied to it than any other metal on earth because it is so useful in medical industries, uh, electronics industries, all kinds of things. It absolutely just filtering water. I mean, it blows my mind, all the uses for silver, right? But a lot of people judge things based on their price and that's why they're not investors, they are speculators. But in the last two days, we've seen a massive, a good run up, like between the last couple days, I think we're at what, like four, four and a quarter percent, something like that, as of the recording of this video. The B of A short position, I believe, and again, not trading advice, is going to turn out badly for them because, and again, hashtag BOFA in this video, and, and you know what I want you to do? If you're new to silver and you've never checked it out, and again, I'm, I'm putting links down in the video of companies I've worked with for a decade. So I trust these guys, I know them, and I really like them. So if you guys are new to the industry and you want some exposure to it, go take a look at it. Again, it's not financial advice. I'm just telling you what I do, okay? What I, I trust. 
Um, and again, I wouldn't, if you do do it, I wouldn't put all your eggs in one basket, okay? Because you never know which bag, which investment is gonna blow up and which one's gonna stay or go down for the time being, okay? But the fact of the matter is, as these interest rates start to rise, because the currency is failing, and you, that is proven because of inflation, right? So it costs more dollars out of your pocket than uh, it did before to buy things. Then the facts are you are, uh, the, the precious metals are going to eventually rise because that's what happened all throughout history when times of heavy inflation start, but especially like the 1970s. Gold and silver were the last ones of the party, but when they took off, it was like a rocket ship. That's why I talk about these things because I look six months to a couple years in advance and uh only only speculators people that are here for the quick buck that are always losing in life they're the ones that go well it didn't happen I'm like oh. like copy uh, i i i, I want to think like china i want to go bigger like bigger vision longer game it means you're gonna win so i'm gonna put those links in the comments below but i do believe that you're gonna see that now i want to end on this wall street silver wall street silver is an absolute movement if you haven't heard about them uh they started on reddit he, they also have a YouTube channel that's absolutely mind-blowing because, and uh, I'm gonna link a video below too from Wall Street Silver, you should check them out, because that YouTube channel interviews the best of the best, the top guys all over the world and girls, uh, economists and silver and gold experts. So I think it is absolutely amazing to go and follow these guys because they are visionaries, right? Because they are seeing something that most people don't see and they have great uh, content. So I'm gonna link that uh, a video from them too. So I'd go take a look at them and throw out a, hey, I saw you from the Ninja. I learned about you guys from the Ninja in there. I really appreciate it. So I wanted to leave you with that. I mean, these are exciting times. Again, I always preach this, and this is important. If you're gonna get into something, don't get in when the price is high, okay? We don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. We don't know what's gonna happen the rest of the day. It could drop, okay? Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Be diversified, all right? But have some exposure. Do what the wealthy people do. Wealthy people have a certain percentage of their net worth in gold. And I believe there's a lot of people like Rick Rule, Eric Sprott, Peter Schiff, you know, very wealthy people, billionaires, some of billionaires, they have the exposure to silver because they know that there's going to be a day that Elon Musk is going to go, where's my silver? Uh, where's, uh, what do you mean there's no more panels? I need silver. And then all crap's going to hit the fan. All right, guys, that being said, the Economic Ninja is out.